hi guys welcome back to my channel so as promised i will be showing you how you can do your own tiara backdrop if you are into diys you have an event coming up you want to save a buck or two this video is for you so let's get right into it this is the board that we will be using i have a picture it is from Home Depot. It's called a panneau de blanc pain. It's basically a whiteboard. It is eight feet tall. We will be cutting it down to 6.5. I have my husband, Jean-Philippe. He'll be helping me throughout the whole process. So this is us drawing the line to where we'll be cutting it. We will be using our jigsaw. It is also from Home Depot. Make sure your battery is fully charged so everything goes smoothly. Now that the panel is the height that we wanted, we used a PEX tube to draw the shape that I had in mind. Then Jean-Philippe repeated the same step as earlier to take the line as a guidance to cut it. So after we got it to the shape that I wanted, I wasn't satisfied. I felt like the panel was a bit too large. So I've asked Jean-Philippe to take off two inches from the width. So that's what he's doing. So while he was cleaning the floor, I took the sandpaper and started to sand the top part of the backdrop. Then we switched. Jean-Philippe was sending the other corners. This step is so necessary because it will make your backdrop smooth to the touch. So it's really a must. Once it's done, we move to um, the other panel. To have the panels facing the opposite direction from the other, you need to have the new panel facing white side up and the first panel facing brown side up. Draw the shape and then cut. And to make the backdrop sturdy, we added two pieces of wood behind each of them. I used Gorilla Wood Glue to glue the sticks to the backdrops. That is all I could find around the house to add some weight to the sticks so they can stay in place then we use these heavy-duty shelf brackets as legs for the backdrops they are also from Home Depot the next day I painted the backdrop so these were the colors that I used And there you have it. 
this is how I style them for my son's birthday party. Do not forget to check it out if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.